You ready to learn about real history, kiddos? Shooting fire drill. Let's go. Shooting drill now. <laughs> Get on the ground. Oh my Get god. On the ground. Leave quickly. Before she... I'm joking. Ah. Mr. Simon, can you prove any of this? History deniers. Fuck you. Oh. Isn't it more likely that over time history and legend started to blur together for years and centuries fuck ago? Fuck you, that's kind of correct. We, but fuck you. Are we still talking about stuff that happened 10,000 years ago? Yes, I was there. Can you point to any paintings and images that actually show there was a calamity 10,000 years ago? I swear to God, if we show this picture, they'll be like, how we not know that those are fake? Or children. <laughs> I can see all this actually show the class of screen depicting the calamity movement in my lesson plan forward. Uh, here's your future stupid shit. photo. There you go. What's this? A screen depicting the calamity? Class, please take note here. This is a rare opportunity to see a primary source regarding the calamity. Yeah, you have enough money to fucking go so to a field trip. you're saying that Zelda built a school but didn't give any of the proper... This is like artifacts that the Kakarika Village kept, so... Yes, but you can't <laughs> just write this down, add them in books and all that shit. <laughs> I mean, you can't just build a school and not have any materials for it. You know, soon this makes me feel like it might, might have happened yesterday. It happened seven years ago. <laughs> yeah. God. Well, if you got document proof, that's good enough for me. Good. Go on, Mr. Simon. Tell us the rest of the story about the Calamity. Uh, of course. Uh, hi. Thank <laughs> you so furry. much, Link. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> like a furry class. I'm a living marker of history right here. I'm this, I'm literally just possessing oh, someone's look. spear from 10,000 years ago. We found kids uh, smaller than... We found people smaller than Link. <laughs> My lecture about the Calamity might run long, but I hope you'll stay for it anyway. Yes, I'm in here for the long haul. Like, literally the episodes for, like, making the, like, the finale for, like, the tears that came here are just getting longer and longer. <laughs> Jesus. The Calamity has entered this land of Hyrule several times over. I swear to God, if you literally decide to fucking lie and just say I'm, uh, don't worry, like, I'm, uh, none of that really happened. Because so many people already forgotten Link in this timeline, so why the, why the fuck not lie about more history, even though you were right there with us? Wouldn't this be much easier to prove if they had <laughs> one of those fish people? Oh my god. I mean, didn't they live for over yeah. a very long time? Why would they think it's fake if, if the fish people oh, were they're, there? Oh, they're talking about the Divine Beast. Each of them was controlled by a skilled pilot as well. And the sword that steals the darkness and the power of the sacred princess, the ancient heroes stopped the calamity. For a long while after that, the lands of Hyrule knew peace. The time when the people, for, people forgot about the calamity was the moment it returned to menace them once more. Ah. Tell us more. When did this all happen? Give us the exact date. No, it fucking didn't happen a hundred years ago. What happened, like, wh how when it stopped, it happened a few years ago, you... This all happened about a hundred years ago. Began with the Oracle prophesizing the Clemming's return. Who the fuck was the Oracle? The royal family took their cues and legends of the past. They found and excavated the Divine Beasts. I'm assuming that, that, that literally the Oracle's whole entire generation family tree is dead now. Skilled members of the Rito, Goron, Zora, and the Garado peoples were selected to pilot them. They were called the Champions. With the wielder of the sword that seals the darkness, the sacred princess, all the pieces from the legend were in place. But this time, the calamity would not be best so easily. I just keep looking over at Link's face. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Did something happen? Why is everyone just slowly standing up? Sadly, the sacred princess was unable to awaken the holy power within her and somehow stay alive for over a hundred <laughs> years. She fucked up. She's fucked up. The goddess didn't give her any of her power. And, uh, somehow stayed alive for a hundred years, stuck in the castle somehow. The Divine Beasts were taken over by the Calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Worse still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt. Just when all seemed lost. The Sacred Princess came into her own power, just then, conveniently, yeah. and devoted her whole being to be keeping the Calamity at, at bay for a hundred years. Ah. Is everyone following along so far? Yeah, how did she eat alive? After spending a hundred years dormant, the hero wielding the sword of the seals of the darkness awakened, his wounds healed. He won back the Divine Beast the help of several allies, including some of the champion's ascendants. In the end, the hero defeated the Calamity, Sacred Prince stopped, stopped the evil one. Wait, I just realized something. He won back the Divine Beast the help of several allies. But isn't there a, an equally wow, canonical- Wow, forgetting all the people! Uh, it, no, isn't there a canonical way, like, um, uh... Literally, just a link just charting straight to the Hyrule House and defeating Ganon and all that. So they're taking the hard stance that I'm a like, canonical way to be Breath of the Wilds. I'm uh, doing all the main side, qu the main quests. 
But then there's a whole thing this village not knowing who Link is. I think it's just because <laughs> nobody believes the story. Oh my god. Even though, it, even though he has the Master Sword. Yeah. Yeah, fuck them. Even people like that see the Master Sword are like, wow, really? <laughs> Sorry, I got a little emotional there at the end. It's a true story, though. True story, bro. True story. Oh. All that we have, our land, our lives, our civilization, we owe it all to those who fought for it through the generations. It's a dream. Centuries. Fucking century I generation. Be better than you, Sonic right generation. Sonic heroes. Wow, I would be like the ancient hero and give the bit next generation good lives too. They don't recognize Link because he does not look like himself. He looks like a twink. That's a twink zone eye. Ah, oh, that went splendidly. Words cannot convey my satisfaction. And I couldn't have done it without you showing us the screen, Link. <gasps> Link! Once again, thank you so much for assistance. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You should have something for all your help. Would this do? Right. Or you could give me the satisfaction of telling these children I'm the great hero. But God. okay, yeah, I'll take fucking rice. God. With the new vegetables being developed, they're harvesting less rice these days. It's a shame. It's a favorite of mine. You should take it, taste it for yourself, Link. Speaking of rice, our next subject is home eco economics. I plan to use the occasion to talk up dishes that use honey and rice. Oh, that's the first lesson done. What's next lesson? Well, well, good morning to you. Thank you for your contributions. History class is ordinary, a bit slow paced, the children's taste. We don't like history, it's boring. Boring. Yeah. I don't want to hear about this twink anymore. God. About a story. <laughs> I want to I want to have a twinkie. We're going to home ec. The last lesson may have been the first time I've ever seen them enjoying a history lecture so much. With a picture. Yes. Nothing else. Our next class is a home economics lesson. Naturally, you're free to sit in again with a subject interest you. Today's lecture is on home economics. Food is essential for our survival. No, it's not. A keen culinary sense that can help you stay alive in this perilous world. I have to put a question to you all. What dish do you get by mixing goron spice of Hylian rice in raw meat? Ah. Goron spice is the hot stuff they sell in Goron City in the Northeast, right? It's not... It makes your mouth hot. It's not really hot stuff. Hmm. If it's got goron spice in it, the answer can't be anything but curry. But the only other thing in it is raw meat, right? So obviously, curry meat. I have no idea. I don't know. Ah! The answer has to be meat curry. Oh. Yes, that's correct. That one might have been on the simple side for all of you. How about this one then? The most gourmet. I like, I like how we don't know that one, but I feel like we're gonna know the more complex one. The gourmet meats. <laughs> Take goron spice, Hylian rice, and mix in monster extract. Monster curry. Yeah. What do you get then? Huh? Monster what? Why would I want to eat? It tastes a monster. <laughs> Aren't, aren't monster parts only used for medicines? Yeah, if you try to cook with monster parts, it's a disaster every time. No. Are just... we gonna have to cook fucking monster food God. for these kids? No one eat curry made with monster stuff. I call a trick question. How dare you teach? Fuck you. I mean, I like that kid, man. Yeah, honestly, like, I, I, like like, I think we actually seen him a while back. Like, he was trying to study by himself all on his own. Aww. Like, like. He's the most rambunctious, but also like wants to know more. Okay, I'm gonna give these kids yeah. a bit of a chance because I feel like their teacher is kind of nervous. Has never done this before. <laughs> uh, this lesson may be too advanced. <laughs> By combining monster extract, go on spice, and honey and rice makes monster curry. But taking from your skeptical face, you won't believe me unless I put a dish of it in front of you. Hmm. I had to make monster curry from. I don't have any monster extract. Ugh. I'm told that it can be had in Terrytown up north in Akala. I'm pretty sure I have it. The other day, I told them classically used for monster parts is to brew medicine. Wow, you just said plainly they're only used for medicine, nothing else. Today's lesson about monster extract may have been confusing for them. Wish you could make some real monster curry with Goron spice, Hylian rice, and monster extract. All right, we'll get it, dude. Eating is believing after all. Fuck off. Alas, right now I'm all of monster extract. I'm told I have it in Terrytown. Oh, do I not have it on hand? Do I use it? Yeah, no. but you have to cook the food. I actually have to cook it. Yes. Where is the, where is the cooking pot actually? Up by the up by the tree. What tree? It's in the middle of the goddamn rain too. It makes it worse. Like I just go all just the go way. Back to the town. There's yeah, one there, there. I know there's I one the... there. Completely like underneath the rain. That should be the best part, place to put it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the fuck Run furry. <laughs> 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 This unusual take on curry uses monster extract and doesn't rely only on spices. Yeah. Like, it's canonically the one thing in this game that I'm a Link is super passionate about. Like, what was it, in Breath of the Wild as well, I'm a... Daruk's in one of his journals, like, said, like, I'm a... 
Link was down to eat rocks. Absolutely. Also, the the funniest thing is also like the whole thing about him, uh, Zelda like literally just pushing him to eat a, a frog hole in a cutscene, in a memory. Yeah. Too bad he looked actually skeptical. I swear to God, if anyone questions Link's tasting abilities and especially Zelda, then I'm, uh, it's her fault. He's like this. It's time to continue your lesson on home economics, but I just been sitting here for ten hours straight, not yeah, knowing what to do. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Why is why do they choose him to be a teacher? <laughs> The teacher's confused again. You don't know shit, old man. <laughs> I kind of like them. Mr. Simon, you're the one who taught us that monster parts should only be used for medicine. <laughs> yeah, if you try to cook monster parts, it's disaster every time. You're just gonna repeat yourself, okay? Uh -huh. No one would make. No one would eat curry made with monster stuff. I call trick question. Oh. I'm gonna get through to them. I have the curry. There you go. The the spicy scent you're I saw. Wet. <laughs> Look away. I'm wet. <laughs> God. Hey, kids, here. This is monster curry. Dripping the wet. genuine article. Like it's literally just there's so much rain in there. <laughs> Glass, come and see here. This curry was prepared using monster extract. Taste it. Eat it. <laughs> the color's a little off, but oh, but it tastes better than I expected. Oh. I can actually hear them eating it. Jesus. Ew. Wow, you're right. I just didn't have that monster musk. I was wor what? 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 <laughs> Monster <laughs> musk? Oh god! No, actually no, that makes it worse in my brain because what the fuck are they talking about? Where had they actually smelled that before? Did they smell it on monster parts? Ugh. I thought that... Guts? Maybe? I don't... I Maybe... thought they used only the horns in that for medicine. What? What? I heard it. Hopefully none of these kids have actually oh caught my... a monster. Uh... Oh my god. Well, if they start alive after me encountering a monster like that, then I'm uh, they are tough stuff. The next generation's in good hands. Respect those kids that fought shit and know the <laughs> They were monster. part of the mini kid war. Musk of a monster they fought. Jesus, I don't like that line at all. Ordinarily, monster parts are only to be used in medicine, but monster extract can be used in meals as well. I'm so happy that my lesson in the subject has finally sunk in. I like how Link is still soaking wet. <laughs> Thank you so much. See those solemn expressions on their faces? The, excuse me. The children haven't matured a bit with today's lesson. You might not think yourself a teacher, Link, but you've already taught them a great deal by bring, bring them food and showing a picture. I don't think this guy should be a teacher. I'm not much good at history, but you made it fun, Mr. Link. And the curry tasted great. I pretty much think of you as my teacher already anyway. He's better oh than my god! Better. He thinks we're better than his their teacher. Thanks, I Mr. Link. I can't wait for our next lesson with you. <gasps> yes! Yeah. You're hit with the students too. You're in the right to use the school's field. Okay. I actually would love that. That's the one behind the schoolyard. Oh. Hmm. Link is a reporter and a teacher. That's the best. Resume. Yeah. Resume. Girl, <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> Gas like geeky girl boss, your resume is going, spill and the tea. And you can wear your yeah. fursuit inside <laughs> and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> That's all I want in life. Uh, sleeping on a farm back there, actually. And someone named Uma, like, Did growing they, crops? Is there any lesson three? I don't know, but like they said, they literally just sh like said to go to the farm back here. Like they're just directing us to it. So if that was literally the only lesson there, then okay. Well, there's meant to be someone here then. Probably because it's raining. Hmm. <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> okay, maybe we should be back later. Actually. So talk to them again. Make sure there's no lesson three. Okay, fine. Mushroom. What? <laughs> Mushroom. What? Snack time? Fuck yeah. The guy is the ancient hero. Where'd you find such clothing? Wait, what? Oh, now you <laughs> now notice. Now you clothing. notice. Professor Link, you always surprise me. Oh. Professor. The element of surprise is fundamental oh my learning God, as well. Professor. I must devote myself to becoming a teacher who can surprise and delight the children. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm going on about my own endeavors. Anyway, I must say that your appearance it was delightfully astonishing. Aside from that, I've been meaning to express my grat gratitude to you. Thank you for making Monster Curry for the children. I'm sure they remember it well, since it was such a hands-on experience. You know, a teacher's job extends beyond the classroom. No matter when or where, we see children, your responsibility to them. Hmm. Now time to um, uh, actually wait and I'm um, uh, find that farmer lady. He said it was behind the fields, right? Oh, is she ac she's actually down here. Okay. Oh, yep. One more side quest to fulfill. Nice morning, isn't it? Well, well, I wonder when you be by. <laughs> Simon said we should ask you what to plan this here plot. You know, as thanks for helping out with the school. 
He showed up just when I was finishing the prep work for it. I could grow pumpkins, carrots, tomatoes, wild berries, wheat, rice, or melons. I was actually thinking of melons. If you bring one of those, I'll try to seed and plant them for you. For you decide, I should admit one thing. I have more experience with some crops than others. I don't know too much yet about raising endure carrots and hardy radishes. <gasps> Can we actually ra actually make hardy radishes uh, after this quest? You have to forgive me if you and those end up a little lower than the rest. Wait, I want to actually hardy do- Hardy radishes! Yes, now. I want to do that now. Ah. Well, that looks good down to it. What would you like to grow? Let's see, uh, what do I have on hand? Where do I- Wait, I- There it is! Big radishes! Big radishes! Go all in! Gamble! Gamble! Certainly, I'll take that from you and be pleased to do it. Can't return anything once you hand it over mine, but if you feel like planting something else, come see me. Oh, and I hope you'll let me know when your first harvest let me know about your first harvest so I can be there to see. I'm already hankering to see the crops turn out. Oh my gosh, so you can come here anytime, mm. bro. Whatever, that's awesome. Can't sit in the thrive while you kill time in the inner bonfire. That ain't how things done the vegetables no. The, well, you can't expect in the thrive while you kill time in the inner bonfire. That ain't how things are done. The vegetables no. <laughs> So it'll take a bit before they're ready to harvest, but I'm already getting excited. So let's gonna do the whole thing with them, uh, the game's internal clock. So we have to come back later and do this. I have this. no idea how fucking gears work. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. Oh my good god, actually. So now let's go do... So there's either two things we can go do. Either we can grab the rest of the stuff to look at landing, or visit house. Uh, let's look at landing first. Yeah. Mostly just a few miscellaneous stuff that just grab there to 100% everything. Talk to the Rock, my favorite character. Rock? Yes. Who's Rock? Rock! 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 Who the fuck is Rock? He likes to take souls. That statue underneath? Yes, the Rock! <laughs> oh my god. He's my favorite. Favorite character. Jesus. Uh, what's his name again? Poe? Oh, I thought you were talking about the evil, the quote-unquote evil statue no, underneath. No, no, he collects Poe's, he's the good guy, and he gives you bomb air. Bomb, 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 stuff. Hmm, I don't know how many Poe's I have on hand, but, like, that would probably help. I can't believe it took me forever because I thought I grabbed them all, but, like, I was missing one statue on the map, which I never actually went to just yet. Ah, my favorite guy. So, let's see. I can grab more bomb flowers here, but I have everything for, um, uh... All the different clothing and actually upgrade them all so well, i guess with this i'll just um uh, grab some more bomb flowers i'll grab 15. i'll have plenty for the final battle and probably with all the upgrade weapons i have and i'm uh the fusions actually it'll just make it all funnier because i literally have one that's uh, over 105. Okay. legitimately and if i grab some things from my house later on i'm uh, i'll be even stronger stronger i say stronger Okay, so there was one side quest to help you, help you like just um, uh, encourage you to find all the wells in the world and go down and explore them, and this girl is down here. Hello, uh, well lady. Apparently you like the wells too much. Ah. Hey, it's you. I'm fascinated by the many old wells across Hyrule. The new wells are pretty interesting too, like this one. Huh? Oh, have you kind of tell me about the location of more wells you found? I think last time they only she was only here to like give like small rubies, like a small allowance. Do you found them all? It's been a while since I last talked to her. Oh, so you found 53 of them so far. <laughs> There's like 58 of them in total. I'll give you 10 rubies per location, so that's 130 rubies total. Damn. All yours. But yeah. that you told me the locations of all 58 wells in Hyrule. Yep. This oh, this is something I made when my love for wells was really brimming over. Take it. It's a gift from me to you. <laughs> all's well that, that ends, ends well, well. <laughs> to thank you for finding the locations of all the wells in Hyrule Pharaoh awarded you this beautiful model of a well encased in a glass sphere honestly I love it <laughs> truly thank you we can put that in our house oh my god hopefully maybe hopefully that'd be a beautiful thing <laughs> put it right next to I want to see it's right here the th yes oh we can't look at it closer but maybe my gosh like, oh my god, like, that's actually the bonded version of all of it, Han. Like, that's, here's the one thing I do not like about how this is all sorted. Look at all this. Look at the two first rows. Look at this. Look at it. Why isn't the reds 
lined up with the Ultra Hand, the blue going with the Fuse, and the green ascent with the Ascend. Everything else is like color coded, but why is this one, these ones, out of place and out of order? How dare? How dare? God, god damn it! Well, that's well done. Ascend. Uh, no, so you say ascend while climbing a fucking ladder. Technically, this is the the naturalistic man-made way to ascend, not Bro, Zonai so magic. Or sw swimming in their, wa uh, their in their drinking water. Well, that girl definitely was. Ew. <laughs> okay, and with this, you shed the last piece that we have here. Good morning, and thank you for your hard work, Link. So grateful that you continued interest in the control support and control of the monster control crew. Currently, I have information that three monster control squads on expedition right now. I've already actually helped help them out all out, so we don't need to worry about that. I have a number of large monsters. Yes, Stone Talus. The reports of our, reports of our forces out in this expedition, the number of Taluses remaining is zero. Unbelievable! You hunted them all? Yes. Yeah, fuck you. Who'd have thought? I heard that your skills are unmatched throughout Hydro, but wow. All right, like, please take this. Yes, look at it. I love it. Ah, Stone Talus Monster Medal, award presented by the Monster Control Crew in appreciation for defeating every Stone Talus in Hyrule. It's very fancy and shaped like a monster represents. Nice. Oh. Yay, a medal. So, like, um, uh, what was it? Like, I'll go to the Hinox later. But, like, that means all, the, like, I got all the usual monsters, the Sky Giants. That's the all the flux constructs, the cubes. So, what is the, what, how does this look? It's just a Rubik's Cube. Oh it's God. a Rubik's Cube medal. That's oh. funny. So the rest there is the three-headed monster, the Gleox. Is it just going to be like in, uh, the Hydra heads? Please tell me that's what the medal looks like. That'd be so cool. Yes, look at it! The three heads! Oh. My God, this is so great. Wait, no, forgot the I forgot the, uh, the, the Fronxes in the depths. Murdered them all, bitches. The little look at the frogs. What the hell is that meant to look like? Frog. I can barely tell. <laughs> but now, finally, oh. there is the Hinoxes. Oh. Best best boss monster I'm in the game. Sure I, like, Zero. To feed them all? Uh. I'm curious. It literally has it, just their head. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, it's great. Oh. That's a hunting token, me, especially for the warrior strong enough to feed all every Hinox. We've been working every day to earn it ourselves. I started to think it was an impossible task, and yet you did it. Everyone knows about your great deeds, Link, but it feels good to give you something tangible as proof of them. You're onward, it was our son duty to become as brave as you and carry out more monster expeditions for the people. <laughs> impossible! You're saying that each and every large and unusual beast has been torn asunder? Yes. Look at that. Just when I thought you couldn't possibly outdo yourself, you've gone and done it. There's nothing more I can give you. But let me know that I will forever remember this incredible feat you have accomplished, Link. That's Don't ever fun. think of me as short. <laughs> Technically speaking, I'm uh after the whole Ganon situation is done and I'm uh the blood like a blood moon probably happens. Link probably has to go back all throughout the land and actually defeat them all over again, actually. Nice. If he wants to get rid of them, honestly. Like, my good oh gosh. Oh my god, that'd be so sad. Honestly, it I is. I could never like <laughs> just kill the last Lionel. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> could never. And I'll actually like show off the show off my house actually. Like, it was mo like, pretty much just I'm making gonna, in the background. You're gonna heavily I'm judge it. I'm not gonna say anything. I say I'm gonna say everything. <laughs> I have, like, the best house. I, like, did all my research and homework. I made the best fucking house. I'll let like to see it then later. I made something that looks like it's functional as a house, but I think looks nice. So hopefully, um, hopefully it looks nice. Did you think they didn't have, like, the shrine? Oh, my God. I don't like the whole ends of the cube thing, but I'm, uh... I what the fuck is wrong with you? Mine actually looks like a house. I I wanted like if I had more space to make a roof and a final wall up there, it would be good. But like this is from uh, just about getting out of the day. This is the worst. What? Fucking. Well, guess I'm what? I'm heavily fuck you. I'm heavily judging this. This should suck. <laughs> I try to get like almost every single room type in. Honestly, just eating at the dining table. What the table. fuck is that? What? You, what? What's what wrong? What is that? What's wrong? You don't like what my. Is you don't like my paintings? No. Man, you suck. I had the I had the finest painter in all the land to make it, honestly. And I'm, uh, these are the weapons I need to finish the last few side quests, actually, for all the unique weapons across the lands. Pick it up, you. God damn it! Now, shush you. We're gonna drop you, Mister. No, no, Boomerang. don't drop it. You have a fucking stand right there, dumbass. 
No, I don't want to use that. No. Look at this. This I don't want this. Look at that. It looks hideous. <laughs> it looks awesome. No, it's hideous. <laughs> and like here's the technically the unfinished upstairs because ceiling and honestly all of that. I mostly just have like mostly more weapon stands, honestly. Like I'm uh just more bows and arrows, honestly. Definitely need the shallow bow for later. A little bed for sleeping. And then just like some uh, miscellaneous swords, honestly. God. What? Oh, what? 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 Han, what? Haunt. What is? What is? What is so wrong My right here? My house looks a thousand times better. Okay, I'm actually thinking these have better durability. Yeah, they have. They're very much more stronger than that. Let's see. I'll get rid of this one. Drop it for now. Just put it in the fucking thing. Oh yeah, well that one can be put in there actually. Do it. Okay, fucking fine then, if you really so wanted to uh, be in the stand for some fucking reason. You want everything to be in proper places, apparently. Uh, disgusting. No, I did not want that. I think this is like in the 30 range. For d yep, it's 30. So I can just add that in my... I can just add to like the most strongest like in my monster parts to make it bigger. And I forget what this... I think this is a... a a soldier sword that I got a while back. Let's see, what else should I put in? Let's put you on the stand and pick you up. God, God damn it, actually pick it up. That is 22. That's actually strong for all the ones I have so far. I'll grab it for like the final battle and put you. Oh, God damn it, no. Uh, yeah, I can't really pick you up, honestly. So. But yeah, like, I'm, uh, I actually want to see how you made like an actual house. I'm, uh, I guess, like, a weapon mount, honestly, and, like, actually, like, a, uh, you know, like, a bed, honestly, like that, and it makes it look like an actual house. I swear, I, if they added more blocks, I can actually use, like, a, uh, the ceiling house. and all that. Like, I also want to add, like, some actual, like, outside stuff to make it look nicer. But, like, again, it makes, like, the, the top floor a bit empty a bit. But, like, how would you make the top... I guess, you know, the roof would actually look way much more better, actually. I will show you my house a thousand times <laughs> Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh. Let's see. So, we then just need to go to each little location, then. We just need to wait and go to those. Let's see. Let's start off with Pride of the Gerudo down there. We need four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, and a Garuda scimitar. So, with that, then, we can just go to each location and make the specialized little equipment and this is probably the one i am gonna be the most excited to grab because there's a special condition attached to that weapon if you fully create it i think this is like literally just them uh reusing them uh the same weapon models from the last game like all the champions like you know main weapons you know um uh urbosa's scimitar daruk's um uh like you know, i'm a cobble crusher mifa's trident and then i'm uh what was it, uh, Revali's, uh, like, Great Eagle Bow. I think it was right here, then. Yes, you were actually making them. You were offering to make them. Vasak. Vasak. Oh, the pretty one. <laughs> Let's see, then. Yep, the Scimitar of the Seven, the Daybreaker. Oh, the, the, uh, the Daybreaker Shield, too. I chose me to carry the arms of the Seven. Just let me create me these legendary items for you. Okay? okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Looks like you don't have all the materials you need to get to work. Mm -hmm. What was it? Four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a grotto scimitar, and a grotto shield. The shield is what I need, actually. The shield. Mm -hmm. Well, I have the scimitar, though. <laughs> Let's see. That's the one thing I need, though. I don't. I completely forgot about the shield Mama! part. I freaked out for a second. Like, oh, you're not wearing your drag clothes! <laughs> God damn it, yo. I think there should be like a shield. You didn't, get, you didn't finish all the pictures. Oh yeah. Oh hi. <laughs> Look at that. Look, it's Link's master sword. Oh, suck. <laughs> okay, the shield section be right here in the weapons, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, we need the Hylian shield too. I know where to grab that for later. Let's see. Where's the Grotto shield? There it is. There should be one some around here. Yeah. I swear to God, if this actually just leads to a soldier wearing, like, holding the shield, I swear. When I was trying to grab up a scimitar way earlier, they just, they just dropped it to him up. Uh, people actually holding the weapon. You're not allowed to grab it ever again. You're not allowed to grab it from them. I'm just, like, sitting here like, why did you even lead me here then? 
It's doing it again. <laughs> it's showing you to another. Han, like, Han, looking all around is not beeping. Now it is. Yeah, why does it do this? One. Game, why do you do this? All right, I got the rest of the stupid ingredients. Here you go. With all this, it should be the shield, the scimitar, the diamonds, everything else. Yep, four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, scimitar, shield. There we go. It's, she's going to make the champion's gear, honestly. There we are. Put all my heart into making these. Take them. They're a true symbol of the gratitude of the Garado. Scimitar the Seven. Here it is. A famous sword once beloved by the Garado champion Urbosa. It said that when Urbosa swung this sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. <laughs> Wish you good fortune in your travels. And with this daybreaker, the shield was cherished by the Garado, the champion Urbosa. The gold used to make it was hand-picked and sure design that is both lightweight and very durable. Ah. The same person I made, made this for. Lady Riju was the first. My sister ancestor may, even made them for the champion the Garado some time ago. Oh, just runs the family. It really just goes to show how amazing they are. Make it me happy if you take good care of them. Mm -hmm. hmm. But I didn't make them to be used, so don't feel like you need to preserve them. Should they ever be irretrievably lost, just bring the materials again, I'll remake them, remake them for you. And also, you can come and see me whenever you like, if you don't need anything. Riz. <laughs> Absolute Riz. Riz. Damn. Absolute Link Riz. I like the idea that you could give those to uh, <laughs> her. You know, I guess there is that too. That but... would be nice, like yeah. making all the equipment to make sure they they actually like work. You know, or way better. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that'd be actually kind of cool to have like a um, uh, a weapons master that, like upgrades them uh, like the weapons. Honestly, other Zelda games did that, but since you know the whole um, uh, downgrading and like the weapons can be destroyed and all that, like they can't really do that properly. You know. The light scale trendant. Thank, thank you for coming. I do not have hesitation helping the heroes of the domain. With all this, this should be from uh, the Zora's like light scale trendant trident. I wonder like and there's like some weapons that have specialized um uh, attributes if you fuse them with things. Like what was it for the Zora's weapons? They're actually stronger when you're wet. Like you know when you're like you know been like, you've been in the water. The weapons you've been carrying, those are good. Spe a spear of peerless grace cherished by the Zora champion Mifa. Although Mifa specialized in healing abilities, her spearmanship was in a class all its own. Hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure like that's what it was from uh, the other Zora weapons as well. That should be the one f that should be the, the Zora's weapon now. Now next would be the Soul of the Gorons, which is like a uh, look at this, it's the kingdom right over. Actually, like, do you think like they actually have a good um like the kingdoms have a true good relationship there? The, the you know the Zora and the and the Gorons actually, because they're like literally just they're literally just so close together like they can talk to each other easily. Like sure, it'd be probably be still a bit of a hike, but they're like they're close enough on the world honestly. It'd be like a day or two hike just to go back and forth, just to you know exchange pleasantries and like you know um uh, orders and stuff like that, you know. Okay, with this, there's a um, uh, uh, amateur blacksmith in town ready to prove their worth. So, I'm um, uh, make this, and I swear to God, if you break it, it's all your fault. You're paying for it. Oh, I would love it if we could give it to the champion. That'd be so awesome. <laughs> Maybe you can go talk it, to them. Maybe it, if they were dead. They're dead, though. The ch now champion. You mean the sages. Yes, whatever. Go talk to them. Maybe you can. That'd be awesome. Well, here you go. You can prove your medal. I gave you all these materials now. Thank you, I was a little lost. This is a huge help. There you go. You really have it all? Well, thank you. Now I can make a good and proper boulder breaker. I like how there's just a- there's literally just a cobble breaker right there, right next to it anyway. Master Ruin, watch me do this. I'm gonna complete the boulder breaker and it's gonna be perfect. Does that actually- I just realized, does that mean like the- the blacksmith? They can actually get rid of the rust that Ganon push, pushed onto all the weapons, didn't he? They actually- They'll probably get, like, their business will be booming by now. Oh, damn. Honestly. I put my heart into it. Pound into life. Was that a wrench sound? What, are you going to tighten some bolts onto a, a fucking cobble breaker? 
Well, okay, I can see, okay, never mind. I can see the bolts right there in the top of it. Okay, the very, like, the blade's hilt, like, right in the top. Got it. Master, take a look. Hmm. Oh, I don't even need to touch it to know. <laughs> that rocky luster, that well, well crafted handle, that blunt yet sturdy edge. You've done well, Fugo. I've seen many a boulder breaker in my time, but this is one of the finest. Thank you so much, Master. I've never gotten praise from you before. I already had your head on crooked for, crooked for a while, but you seem to have snuff now. This is nothing I can teach you. From here on out, this forge is yours. Oh my gosh! Starting today, you'll be standing where I stood for many a year. Master. And you, you help too. Well, the materials have never been able to do this. Prove yourself. Thanks, I like, thanks I like for you to have this boulder breaker. Yeah. This two-handed weapon was once wielded by the Goron champion, Daruk. Daruk made swinging it around look easy, but Hylian would need an immense amount of strength. Twink strength. <laughs> As I said, you could totally give that to the sages now. <laughs> the now sages. Like, I love that. Like, I'll talk to Unibo here, because I'm, uh, and see if there's anything new with him. In the, um, I don't think... Town. Yeah. I just don't think they have anything, like, else, like, you know, to do or talk about. To like, like, do you have anything to say, Unibo? Oh. You're still in your timid phase. Preparation of the yep. Demon King means that he's probably planning some sort of attack. Knowing that I can't leave the city yet. I hunker down here, keep an eye on the goings on here. Mm. Anything weird? Everything's okay around here lately. If you're looking to help folks out, you might check elsewhere. Like, yeah, we've done all the side quests. Yeah, we helped the entire world so far here. But he's been done. Like, everyone's gonna, like, hang back and wear their, um, uh, their villages until we go have a go, go a say and, like, you know, go inside the depths of Hyrule Castle. Legitimately. So it's three weapons done and dusted. And now it's finally time to go with um, uh, the best weapon, yeah. Revali's bow. <laughs> God, don't bite me. Fuck you. Don't point it. Poke. So the Revali's great eagle bow. I think I remember actually, like, there was a blue, like, cloth tied to it, which I'm, uh, I definitely seen many a fanfic I'm, uh, comment on. It, like, it really just reminds them of just, um, uh, the blue, um, uh, like, Link's. It just reminds them of, like, Link's, um, uh, what was a champion guard. I mean, look at this. The same blue cloth was tied on around it. Nice. Like, how, how can you not think of ships, honestly? Like, around here, Han, where was it? Where the Where's our bird boy? I know where we'll he, do that last. he is. We'll do that yes. Last. yes, we need a professor undying love to him. <laughs> Honestly. You mean he does? Have you did you hear all that too? Well Link has to take charge too, you know. Okay, where is it literally just way above us? Oh, in that place. Okay then, wow. I see how it is. Okay, send through walkways. We're going the long way up. Bird. Bird, 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 bird is the word. Feather. Oh, yes, no. hi. Oh, there's stolen. Yeah, hi. See? Look, look, see? He has this, like, this is the great eagle bow. It's literally just this blue scrap right there. Oh, Shit material. It's so cute. God. Did I make the great eagle bow? I need a swallow, a swallow, swallow bow, five bottles of wood, and three diamonds. There you go. Yep. I think this is actually the last of all my diamonds. I use them, use them all, and I set them all up just for this. These all these weapons. Understood. Handles of materials here. On my honor, I'll make you a bow worthy of the Rito. Why, even the Rito's finest craftsman, Harth, vouches for my work. I'll make you masterpiece as good as any of his. I just hmm. realized, why are the females colorful and not the boys? Because they lost the spice of life <laughs> growing up. Especially oh, like, wow. Aren't the boys... It's all finished. Here you are. This great ego bow is for you, Link. I'm pleased at how it turned out. Use it in health. Yeah, it's a plus three, two. Ah, a bow without equal welded by the Rito champion Revali. It said Revali could lose arrows with the speed of a gale, making him supreme in her aerial combat. Hmm. The bow over breaks, return here and let me know. So long as we can get the materials, I'll make you another one. Oh, hmm. that's amazing. Yeah, and that should be. Talk to the boy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Talk to our best boy. Best boy. Yes! Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Link. Good to see you here. Hmm. hmm. Where do you think the slumbering treasure is? Could it really be hidden somewhere in the deeper mountains? Oh, I was talking about probably the, uh, 
the specialized um, uh, headdress, actually, for the costumes. Huh? Oh, no way! You found the hidden treasure in the center of the three secret hot springs? So it was real after all. Huh. Good thing I found the riddle, huh? Way to go, Rink! I think this was meant for a sage, but it looks too heavy for me. Maybe it'll fit once I'm older. There's definitely some kind of power store up in it. Maybe if you wore it, it'll make your connection to me stronger. Yeah, you should be the one to use the helm. A power has been bound to be useful in your search for Princess Zelda. My spirit is always with you, Link. If you're ever in trouble, I'll help you out first thing. Yeah, like what was it? I, I have since I got all the all the armor pieces, I even got um uh, these helms for each of divine beasts. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> oh, God. just unequips um uh, the entire like a ancient heroes oh, aspect. Yeah, you're oh, you com yeah, you're completely naked under your first suit. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. Yes. But, like, look at this. Look at the fucking, like, Demogorgon, like, look to, like, the, to the Goron Elm, god. Then there's elephant. True elephant look. True elephant look. And then, I, did, I know it's meant to be camel, but it does not look like camel with this. I mean, look at it. Look at the helm. It's weird. Oh, god. Oh, it doesn't even cover your face. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like the Moblin mask, just there. Like, for the rest of them, like, they fully cover Link's head. Well, besides, gets maybe, like, a mouth. But that one fully covers him. That one. And I think this actually just covers his forehead. Like, his mouth is showing. But his eyes are blocked out from it. He can only look from the from the, from the eyes pointed outwards. The prey-style ones. <laughs> God. But we're gonna go all the way back. Oh, wait, I just realized. I, don't, I never actually looked and seen him. The entire full frog suit. Nice. Nice. I do like the little, um, uh... What are those, like, the flaps for the head or for the hat? It actually looks really nice. It really does look, like, nice. <laughs> it just probably just looks a tiny bit weird to me since I only just got this recently, and I'm so used to only having the torso and the legs, honestly. The only legs those. Nice. That's actually disappointing. Unless you want, like, a Naruto torso. Hmm. Has it got that metal headband and all that? Yeah, but nothing's going to compare to a uh, best outfit in the game. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. There's Colton. Guess what, buddy old pal? We got them all. Yeah. Hello. Good evening, traveler. Well, weather can't foul my mood on my way to become a Satori. Mm. I can sense the presence of zero bubble frogs. You can just sense them after eating all the other gems, honestly. Yeah. Amazing. I don't believe it. You collected. Uh, are, are you going to make sure I'm not eating a confession for that? Each and every bubble gem? Mm. Traveler, you didn't do that just for me, did you? No, I didn't, sorry. No, here yes, you go. We love you dearly. <laughs> we love you dearly, polyamory, apparently. Oh, Jesus, how is he? <laughs> poly? Oh, yeah, the bird man got fried. Yeah, the bird man. And well, you already said that Senna is married to Link anyway, so yeah. I, I like the idea and... polyamorous. <laughs> Except Link, for Link, polyamorous, our canon, canon. <laughs> I'm happy beyond all happiness. At last, the dream I've dreamed for so many years. You might want to chew, man. Like, that's a lot of fun. Oh my god, he just swallows it all down the hatch. You just see a comical, giant pile of the, the, the gems. And he just goes, like, cartoonish Scooby Doo antics of unhinged jaw. <laughs> oh, god. Jesus, no time to lose. Too. Down the hatch. <laughs> all right, oh, then. Sharp too. <laughs> What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, something's happening. Something strange and uncomfortable and different from before. Well, if you're gonna think you're gonna transform, should you get out of there? Uh, you okay, man? Ah! This is, this is it. I finally, I finally get into the story. Sadly, I don't have any treasure left to give you. I must reward you somehow. So please, please get this item. I made you myself. Oh, fabric. Oh, oh tough fabric bearing a Satori design, handmade by Colton. Looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. If you wouldn't mind, please show this to Kilton and give him my best. Traveler, thank you so very much for joining me to chase my dream. You helped me get this far. No matter what the outcome, I had no regrets. None! Just disappears in a puff of smoke. Aww, I, like I look forward to meeting you again somewhere in some form. Take care. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh god, what happened? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! oh no, I feel bad for shooting him. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I'm. Oh my god. 
Now I don't want to ever shoot them again. <laughs> Let me kill his brother. I have no idea, but he deserves to know, right? Yes. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting it, him to turn into, like, a blue bee. I thought he actually would just turn into Satori, but if he turned into one, he's going to make up the ranks, honestly. That's how they grow and change. Well, he's out there in the wild now. So he's happy. No, he's definitely happy. No. Like, holy shit. It almost feels like it, it, it literally just mirrors the entire thing where Zelda had to turn into a dragon as well. At least he was happy. I don't see why anyone would complain about changing their bodies and being trans or anything. This actually seems very sweet. <sighs> Even if I don't understand turning into a blue bunny, it's still very nice that he's Are found you something he cares about. Are you saying you don't want giant, giant ears, floppy ears? Absolutely do. <laughs> I'm a furry, of course I do. <laughs> ah, hello, traveler. Hello, can I help you with something? Hmm. Well, I can't quite believe it. that's what has become a Carlton. Hmm. Ah, thank you for kindly letting me know. The end result was, well, I'm sure he's very happy. I think I'll take the stall my little brother left behind into his favorite place. Yes, that will be nice. The handmade cloth my brother gave you at the end. Please make good use of it. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> he always chased his dreams, so I will always do my best to chase mine. Aw. Well, I definitely want to, like... <laughs> I want to visit this his little podium, wherever he moved in Aussie after everything is all said and done. <gasps> wait, 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 let's go up to the, uh, the mountain where we usually see them. We like, when he, maybe, like, he put him as one right there? No, no, no. Go up to the normal, uh, with cherry blossom tree. Where you see the big oh. stack. Oh. I wonder if we'll see him. Should be, like, right around there. I wonder if we'll be able to see him. Well, at this point, like, if he's turned to a blue bead, we probably can't tell which one they are, honestly. I wonder if he still kept his sentience, honestly, or he's now... Purely just, you know, a rabbit now. Oh. oh, hey, don't shoot them. I feel bad now. Aw. Oh. So they all should be up this way, then. This should be the place. <gasps> oh! Aww. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad he's now happy. <laughs> well, there's only one more person we need to find and give them a visit. There he is. He tried to run from his feelings. <laughs> it's actually, oh, this is actually a really nice Did place. You read his journal? Uh, there's nothing there. Oh, damn it, I was it just so looks nice. It's a little pavilion. He's been giving time off, so. Someday. <gasps> hmm. I thought there'd be at least some clue. Well, there's nothing. Hmm? Hello. Oh, hey, partner. Didn't think I'd be running to you here. Ah. Did you hear how well the article was asking the rumors of Princess Zelda did? Apparently, folks really enjoyed them. I think we were able to reveal the truth behind those stories. <laughs> yeah. We make a great tea. Yeah. 
Right, well, maybe it's not my place to say, but I think we make a great team. Our first time working together, too. That's the right way to look at it anyway, but I'll also say... What? Uh, what? On any given story, whoever did the earliest talking with Sorza probably gets the most credit for wrapping it up. I'm completely fine with you getting all the credit. <laughs> so which one was the most helpful one here? It was y me, you, or we again... We made a great team! We already did that again. Uh, you... <laughs> Ah, you think so too, partner. My zeal for the truth behind the story is what got us to the answers, that's for sure. Hmm. Ah, uh, who are we kidding? We both know that you were the one who did most of the heavy lifting, partner. Without you, I wouldn't have gotten all the facts for our stories. I would look at myself in the mirror realizing that. Oh. It would be good for me to relax in this place. A famous bard provided his craft here, studying the songs of this land. That's Cass. Hmm. Besides, our editor, Tracy, she told me to take some time off. I'll stay right here and look out across the land, just like that bard. I'll get in touch with my reporting instincts. Yeah. Yep. Then you'll bet I get my talents on a huge scoop that'll knock you flat on your tail for this partner. You just wait. Ah. So, I'll leave that froggy armor with you for now. Hmm? Eh? Yeah. What, you think it wouldn't fit me? <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, we ah. wouldn't want to see you Don't you it. worry, I could squeeze into that any time. I'd love to see it. Is anyone in fan art about that? <laughs> Let uh, me see. Click, click, <laughs> click. This is actually really nice, like, location. like. <laughs> but that's, like, the first time I think in any other game they actually admitted, like, yeah, it was mostly fan art. Thanks, yeah. though. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, there's an alter way to look at it. Oh, huh. Famous bar wants to practice its craft in this place for studying the song of this land. Yep. <laughs> Well, he's definitely just gonna like look here and find a, a, an article on a surfboard and I'm uh, it's gonna be a friendly rivalry until he finally confesses his own feelings. <laughs> I mean, never forget he literally um uh, ran quite away away when Tracy asked him um uh, how we felt how he felt about us. You can take all the time in the world you need to to sort through your own feelings, okay? <laughs> He's we will be here. here. Yeah. <laughs> we will destroy Ganon for just you. Just you. No one else. Not even Zelda. But it's finally time to make our way to Hyrule Castle. 